Hello and welcome back to FEM Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to model power elements in FEM Design software. For power elements, we have beam, column, cross member, and some power components. Let's start with the column. Now I have opened the column modeling function, and the first thing I can see that the define is activated. With define, you will always model something new to the to your view. With this question mark or properties tool, you always make changes to existing structures in FEM design. Now I'm gonna start with the define. I can see that when the define is activated, the column appears on the screen. Here I can change the height of my column. I can change the placement to be below or above, and I can change the direction of my column according to X or Y axis. Here I'm gonna click view or one column here. Uh, I will also have, uh, or you will also have few other modeling tools here. I'm gonna show, for example, by axis. With this, I'm just gonna simply select two crossing axes there and to intersection appears one column. I can also use physical alignment tool to change the physical alignment of my column. And I can also make changes to analytical model. Here for the steel bars, I can make my uh, bar element to be a shell model with clicking it with this tool, like this. Now my column appears as a shell model. I can always return it to bar model by selecting it with the bar model tool. Here, if I want to make changes to default settings, I can click here before starting to define. And here you can find the basic general settings to modeling column, you can change the section in the section tab, material, stiffness, and end, co end conditions. Here you can also change the eccentricity in the analytical model. And you can, for the end conditions, you can, by activating this, you can say that the end conditions is the same for both ends, and clicking here, or you can simply click there and then you can have different end conditions to the start and to the end. And now pressing OK, let me select the section here quickly. Pressing OK, that kind of column is, is uh, I'm able to model that kind of column. Let's move on to beam. In beam modeling function, uh, you have the same default settings that in column. The one difference between beam and column is that you can model beam in whatever direction you want. It's not horizontal or vertical. And you can also model beams uh, having arc. So beams doesn't need to be straight. Uh, otherwise, the beam function or the modeling function uh, is quite the same than for column. Here you can say change the direction of your beam and by using define I can start defining my beam like this. For the other tools I have here is line by selection. So if I have a line in my model I can simply click that line and I can see that the beam appears in that in my view according to that line. I'm gonna press Ctrl Z to delete this. And what I can also do is use these arc tools here to model arc, arc shape, shaped beams, like here. Here, I'm just gonna delete those. And for the beams also, I can change the analytical model to be shell model or the bar model in here. 
Okay, now let's move to trust member. With trust member, uh, how it is different from column or theme is that when you open the default settings, you can immediately see that these uh, trust members don't have end conditions tab here, which means that the, the trust member will only take compression and tension forces whenever you have them in model. Otherwise, I have the same sections and I have the same materials and for the stiffness I have a slightly different view here. In the general, you can also set, uh, for example, for the compression, you can set that uh, thrust member to act as elastic or you can set it to be plastic and set limit force for that or you can also set it to be brittle and add limit force there. And you have the same options for tension also. Modeling trust members. Let me just add a fast section there. Yep. Modeling trust members is quite the same than modeling beams, although you can only model straight trust members. So let's start by adding trust members here. And there you go. Now we have few columns and few trust members in our model. So that was all for the bar members in FemDesign. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.